students uh, in this video i would like to explain uh, an experiment which is related to our day to day suppose imagine take an egg keep it in the hcl that is hydrochloric acid if you keep it in hydrochloric acid what will happen completely the shell will be removed right what is the reason for removing the shell by hcl because of its conservation the shell slowly dissolves into the hydrogen now take the same eggs so uh, we have to prepare two eggs like this by placing them in the hydrogen acid we have to make two different eggs or two eggs take one of the egg in tap water another egg in the sun now in this case what will happen let us find now the egg which is kept in the tap water the egg which is kept in the sun and their circumference we have to measure before placing them in the water in their respective solutions now let us see for this experiment we need some materials already you know that beaker water hcl raw eggs we need petri dish and dilute hcl toilet cleaning acid if hcl is not available we can use the toilet cleaning acid now cloth to wipe a strip of paper for measurement now take one tablespoon uh, of one tablespoon also we have to take let us take the procedure uh, in this procedure what we produce take the raw eggs in dilute hcl or toilet cleaning acid now for four to five hours until five hours we have to wait at least four until four hours after four hours if actually is not dissolved in the hcl then uh, until five hours we have to wait now observe what has happened to egg which is kept in the hcl as we as we have discussed the egg shell completely dissolved egg shell is made up of calcium carbonate that can easily dissolve in the hcl now take out these eggs uh, from the hcl with the help of tablespoon wash them under the tap water now after washing what do you do take out these eggs and measure their circumference of each egg with a long strip of paper and its widest place mark on the paper with pen or pencils mark on the paper with pen or pencils so uh, we have to mark their circumference with an open mark pencil prepare concentrated solution in a beaker so after this place one egg in the beaker with the tap water another beaker with the salt solution as shown in the figure so until 2 to 4 hours we have to place them inside the respective solutions in the beginning i shown uh, two different eggs which are kept in salt solution and the tap after 2 to 4 hours take out the eggs wipe them with cloth and measure their circumference and find out the, the difference between the initial circumference and final circumference of the eggs do you find any difference in in the width or in the circumference of the eggs which are kept in the tap water or which is kept in the uh, salt solution mark on the paper with pen or pencil and uh, after that the egg placed in salt water shrinks the shrinking is due to what is the reason for shrink so let us go to the first uh, diagram once again so here the egg which is placed in the tap water what has happened and the egg which is kept in the salt water what happened so if you want to learn this let us see the help of the pots 
Now, after measuring the circumference, if you find any difference, then we have to note down. Here, uh, the egg which is placed in the tap water, if you see carefully, uh, it, it was not shrinking or it swells. So the egg which is placed in tap water, it swells or it was bulged. But the egg which is kept in the salt solution, it was shrinks. What is the reason for this shrinking? So the egg which is placed in the salt solution, you see here there is an egg and there is a water. The egg which is placed in salt solution, it was shrinks. What is the reason for this shrinking? Because the movement of water molecules from the egg to salt solution. So when the water water content moves from the egg to towards the uh, salt solution, in this case, water is moving from lower concentration to higher concentration. So that's why it is considered as osmosis. What kind of osmosis it is? End osmosis. End osmosis. Okay. Now, let us observe the second egg which is placed in the tap water. The egg which is placed in the tap water, it was swelled. So its circumference is more compared with the egg which is placed in the salt. What is the reason? The water is moving into the egg from the beaker. This kind of movement of water from the beaker to egg is called as X osmosis. X osmosis. Clear students? Now, X means out and means in, isn't it? In this way, uh, in this moment, what we have seen, the egg which is placed in a salt water, it shrinks due to osmosis. What kind of osmosis occurred here? What kind of osmosis occurred here? What kind of osmosis occurred here? So, end osmosis means the movement of water into the cells. So, when the egg placed in water, when the egg placed in water, Now let us observe these two beakers and their eggs and their circumference. The egg which is placed in salt water, if you take a salt water and there is an egg here. Now the egg which is kept in the salt water, its circumference was reduced because of egg shrinks. Now the egg which is placed in the tap water circumference is increased or the egg swelled what is the reason now in this case water molecules are moving towards the egg cells hence it is called as the x osmosis x osmosis whereas in this beaker why the egg was shrinked because the water molecules are moving from the egg cells to towards the salt water from the lower concentration to higher concentration so that's why it is called as the uh, end osmosis end osmosis x means towards the cells end osmosis means out of the cells end means exit right now in this way the water moves in or moves out of this eggs 
which are indicating the concept of or the movement of water molecules which are indicating to us about osmosis which including and osmosis and ex osmosis clear students now this is about uh, the concept of ex and end osmosis we'll meet in the next section once again with you okay and stay tuned thank you have a nice day